What's up you guys? I'm Christina Sheree. If you're new to my channel, hey. If you're returning, it's always good to see you. And before I kind of dive into the spill of this, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are, thanks. <laughs> so today guys is the very first video that I'm doing in this series I'm calling Retro Wednesdays and just really quick on what it is is I'm diving back into my stash so palettes that may not be popular anymore or they're older I'm pulling them out and coming up with some looks for them and on top of that I really am excited about looking at how makeup has been or how music and fashion have influenced makeup and vice versa so eventually you'll see some looks that are maybe inspired by certain time periods with music or fashion or just decades like the 80s or the 90s um, but for today not to put all that in the video for today I'm diving into one of my favorite brands and my very first palette in this brand so if you are excited to see what I'm getting ready to do and what brand I'm talking about, please just keep on watching. Let's just dive into this video. You guys, I remember seeing this palette on uh, Sephora and I'm thinking, why in the hell does this palette cost so much? And then... As I started to dive into makeup and really learn about different brands and the quality, I was like, ah, still expensive, but that's why it costs so much. What am I raving about, y'all? My very first Natasha Denona palette. This is the 28 pan purple blue palette, and it is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I've never done a video on it. Um, so, yeah. I figured it was fitting to do my very first Retro Wednesday on my very first most expensive palette and my first introduction to Natasha Denona and just falling in love with this brand. So I'm going to prime my eyes and we're going to jump right into this tutorial. Alright fam, so my eyes are primed um, and just looking at this palette, I really am wanting to dive into this color range today, but then I also love to kind of mix it up a little bit and add maybe a cool color in there so it's gonna be fun um, I will put a picture of this of the screen on the screen <laughs> we'll put a picture of the palette on the screen so you know what I'm diving into but for the very first one I'm taking my melt blender brush and I'm going into the color steel blue I'm just picking up a little bit of this color it seems interesting for what I I'm going to head it for today, so I'm going to go ahead and lightly put that in my transition area. Now, I did not set my primer. I just put it on, let it dry a little bit. But going into Steel Blue and building this color up. Okay, with Steel Blue as a base, I'm taking the same brush, or I'm using the same brush, but I'm switching the color off. And now I'm going into the color Aubergine, and I'm going to warm up this area. I'm trying to take a little bit because it's so pigmented, but I forgot what I was saying real quick. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this color in my crease and focus it on the outer. Look how super pigmented that is. Um, the outer V and the outer third of the eye. So go ahead and just place that on there. You're gonna blend it out once you get the color right where you want it, like that. And then just go ahead and blend it out. All right, so next up, now I'm taking my finger and going into the color Deep Slate Gray. Such a pretty color. And I'm gonna place this on the outer third of my eye. And I'm packing it on and pulling it down. Just on the outer third. I love this color. It's so pretty. Okay, with that color packed on, I'm taking my Sephora <laughs> Pro Drawing Shadow Brush. This one here, it's got a nice little uh, tapered edge. And I'm going to take the slate gray color, which is already on my eye, and just really blend this into the crease 
and up into the transition area. I just love this color a lot. So I'm taking what's left or what wasn't on the lid actually and just blending it in. Alrighty then, I love this palette. Alright, so finger again, going into the color Vintage. So pretty. And I'm going to place Vintage from the inner corner all the way to the middle. Going back into Slate Gray, this time I'm using my Natasha Denona number 11. And really loading this brush up. So put a lot on there. And then I'm going to take my Fix Plus. I want the outside to be a bit more foiled. So I'm going to go, oh, oh yeah, that's pretty. Just on the lid. It's a gorgeous color. It's so pretty. Clearly I'm in love with this color. <laughs> but once you get to the lid, you're going to just pat it towards the center so you blend that other shimmer, uh, the vintage shimmer. Using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe, I cannot read this, JH42 brush, this little bitty brush, I'm going into the color, what is this color called? Sorry guys, uh, Lavender Gray. And for the first, right away, I'm just actually going to put this in my transition inner corner and bring it up on the lid just a little. Let's see how that works without fix plusing it. I kind of like it the way it is, but I may actually tone it down a little. Yeah, I'm going to tone it down a little. So I like the way that looks. I'm going to go ahead and switch the color off. Take a clean blending brush and pick up my mirror and actually just diffuse those edges just a bit more. I like the softness of this look. I do want an inner corner highlight, but I don't want it to be too punchy. So now going back into the color Slate. Deep Slate Gray. I'm actually just going to place this color right over that one just to tone it down just a little. Okay, switched off the color, same brush. I'm going into the color Calypso Blue. Fix plus the brush and place this right in the center. Picking up my Milk Cosmetics pencil in Columbia, it's a nice warm chocolate brown. I'm going to place this from the middle of the eye all the way to the outside. Bring it down. Actually, I'm going to do it all the way across. So all the way across. Starting in the inner. Bring it down just a bit. So you're going to, or I'm going to then take the itty bitty brush here. So what is this one? Morphe E35. And just go ahead and smudge that in. Smoke it down. We're going to put another color on top, but this is going to give it a nice base. Okay, so with Columbia as a base, same little Jaclyn Hill JH42 uh, brush. I switched the color off. Now I'm going into the color maroon. I'm going to load this up and just place it over where we place that liner so we get a little closer. May have to actually fix plus the brush, but for right now, I'm just going to place that color right over the liner. So just taking a clean blender brush, just going to go and sweep underneath on the lower lash just to blend those color or that color down. So it diffuses it just a bit. So I'm going to do eyeliner and mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Alright fam, so I'm back. You know, this is one of my favorite 
brands ever. Like I love Natasha Denona. So deciding what palette and where to start my Retro Wednesdays, Wednesday series was so easy. I mean, this is this is like the OG of makeup and palettes. I mean, this just is gorgeous. And I love shimmers. I am a shimmer fanatic, shimmer girl, shimmer woman, shimmer person all around. And this palette only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mattes out of 28. So for someone like me, this is just incredible. Um, so yeah, I did a couple things off camera, not too much, what I usually do. Um, did my mascara, and of course, since I'm doing the Natasha Denona palette, I had to use her lips. Aside from the lip liner, <laughs> the lip liner I use Patrick Ta, and it's called, I use it so much you think I know, but without looking at it. It's called She's Bold. It's a nice, really pretty nude. And I've been loving these two since they came out. So, Lip Euphoria and Caramel and Tan Nude on my lips. And one other thing I did do, I want to make sure I tell you guys about is I used another liner in my waterline and then I focused it on the outer V, both up top and below. It's the All Night <laughs> It's the All Night pencil by Morphe, so this is what it looks like. You see that? Um so I did, yeah, that in the outer V and the upper V. And that is all I did. Well, you guys, I really I'm excited to do this series. I hope you like the very first one. Please leave some comments down below if you're interested in any kind of specific palette you want me to dive back into that's considered maybe OG or not as popular anymore, kind of old. I'd love to just see what I could do with it if I have it, of course. So leave that in the comments below. Um, and anything else you'd like to share or talk about? So I'm popping something up on the screen. Why don't you go ahead and hit that notification bell and subscribe button and, of course, like like my video. Uh, thank you guys so much for spending some time. I love doing these videos and I appreciate that you gave me some of your time. So whatever time it is, morning, noon, or night, thank you again for giving me some of it. And you guys have a beautiful day. Bye!